Greetings and salutations and welcome to Overcoming Depression Symptoms Series 16. My name is Dindayel and I'd like to take you on a journey. And the journey is to the innermost regions of yourself. And I'd like to start off with this segment called Four Principles of Relationships. Four Principles of Relationships. What this entails it has to do with when you're meeting other people or you're, you're attempting to establish a relationship, whether it's intimately or whether it's business-wise, there are four aspects that you probably want to consider. One, is the person physically in a place where they are physically taking care of themselves? You know, you usually can see a lot in how people, what we call upkeep of their temple, or the body is called the temple. And just notice how they take how they treat themselves. And that gives you an indication about where they're at. It gives you, it gives you somewhat an indication. A person who doesn't have what we call good hygiene or they don't take care of themselves, it's it that can be a problem. Two, emotionally, where are they emotionally? Are they emotionally stable? Or they're just major out of out of sorts. Now people say, well, how do you, how do you, how can you evaluate someone's emotional stability? Well, one of the things you can do is get into a conversation about the things that they don't like, and also notice what they do. You know, a two-year-old, when they want their way, uh, they are very unreasonable. They want it now, but when that two-year-old happens to be a forty-five-year-old, or a thirty-five-year-old, or twenty-five-year-old, or fifty or sixty-year-old. You have a major problem. They have not yet learned to grow up. So you got physical, you got the emotional aspect. Now the next one is mentally. Mentally, are they stable? Do they really deal with life in a very mental, adult, or what we call full conscious way? That can mean that when things go really out of sort. Um, they want to destroy or they want to do something to hurt someone else. They want to do something that is totally has doesn't it's no stability to it. And they're mentally ill. And you can find out a lot in people that are actually educated, as well as those who are uneducated. Mental un instability is, is is rapid in many different fields of things. Now the question is how can you make an evaluation of somebody's mental stability? Once again, spend a little short time with the person. Notice how they deal with difficulty and how rational they are in their response to things when things or if things are said no or it doesn't go them way, go their way. Good indication. And then there's the uh, what we call the fourth one. Now some say this should be overall the first before all of them. And it's, the question is, it has to do with spirituality. I'm talking spirituality, not religion. Religion is just a study of how things do and working based upon the methods that has been laid down from someone else. Spirituality is, is the working of the things behind the scenes and how it works based upon your connection and your divine relationship with God. Okay, and so once you've gotten that, you begin to see, uh, is the person spiritually committed to their wanting to improve themselves and their dedication to this divine aspect of themselves? So you have the physical balance, taking care of the temple, you have the emotional stability, you have what we call the mental stability. You have the spiritual aspect of them. It's one thing to be spiritually connected, and it's another thing to be a fanatic, where you just totally lose reality, and you're not in the world understanding that you have to work or you have to generate resources of money or whatever in order to make a living. But you're not running away from it. Remember, one of the key things of being in a relationship is your ability to have choice. Not forced to do something, but when you really have a choice, be able to really be empowered. And as always, remember, for their own self be true. For the whole hard path of life, 
which you, which you await you. Be blessed. Thank you.